Hello guys, it is Al90 and today I have a solo pile glitch in Call of Duty Black Ops for Zombies and yes, this is brand new and it's definitely a really really good glitch but the negative is that this is definitely a difficult glitch to do but after your first time you should be able to get it fairly easy after that but the first time is probably going to be difficult for you. But anyways, that's part for that and let's get right into this glitch. So the first thing you guys do need are the DG5. So make sure you guys bring those into your crazy class before you load up into the game. Now once you guys get the DG5s, the next thing that you definitely want to bring but you don't need is the Arsenal Accelerator. This will help you guys out with this glitch but like I said, the only thing you need are the DG5s. Once you guys get that, you'll be free to load up into the game, and once you guys are in the game, you guys want to get those Pack-a-Punch weapons. I do recommend you guys get Pack-a-Punch weapons with a lot of ammo, because it definitely does help out, but you'll be able to pick up the max ammo in this glitch, so you don't have to worry about that. But once you guys do end up getting a Pack-a-Punch weapons, you'll be all free to do this glitch. So the glitch is going to be right here in the war room, and you're going to be getting right on top of that ledge. You guys are going to be using the zombie's head method, and you're going to be going to the right side of that ledge to get on top of it. Now with this zombie's method, I definitely recommend you guys to bring a shield, because it does make this a little bit easier, but you don't need it. So this is what you guys want to do. You guys want to take out those Ragnaroks, run right up against this wall, and you guys want to look on the bottom left. Once you see yourself lose health, you guys want to jump and slam. If you guys are using the shield, look at the shield meter, and once you see the meter of the shield go down, that's when you guys want to jump slam. Once you guys jump slam, we should be on top of the zombies' heads, then you guys want to look to your left slightly, and then slam right on top of the ledge. Which, you do see me slam right on top of the ledge right there. So that's exactly what you guys do in slow motion. I did explain this twice, and it went super in-depth. If you guys have any questions, ask me down below. But like I said, it will be tricky at first, but just simply run against the corner, jump and slam once you get hit, and then slam once more, but make sure you slightly look to your left, and boom, you'll get right on top of this ledge. But one thing that you do not want to do when you're on top of this ledge is you do not want to jump. If you guys end up jumping, then the zombies are going to pile up right above you, which you don't want that to happen because you cannot shoot them when they're above you. Another thing is, you guys might be asking, how do you pick up power-ups? Well, you guys cannot just simply go right above them. If you guys want to pick up power-ups, you're going to have to do the same thing that you do if they pile up above you. Which, as you guys can see, there's a nuke right there. So this is exactly what you're going to do. You guys want to pull out your Ragnaroks, jump backwards, and then slam right after you jump. Here's when I get it, I'm going to get the nuke, and I'm going to slam forward. So that's what you guys do if you guys accidentally jump, and if you guys want to get power-ups. So that's how you guys do that, so definitely a really, really good glitch because you guys can get power-ups, that means you should not run out of ammo, and the zombies do pile up down below you. You guys can fit up to four players in this pile-up if you guys do want to get four players, and you guys can do camo challenges in this glitch. So definitely, if you're solo and do not want to do the god mode, try this glitch out, get those camo challenges done, and get to 150. But anyways, that's about it for this glitch. Definitely expecting more new glitches soon because I'm always trying to find the best glitches for you guys. So stay tuned for that. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. You will not be disappointed. But anyways, that's about it for that. And let's get right into today's trick question. So today's trick question is going to be engineers. Good job to Nathan for getting right. Thanks so much for participating. Definitely make sure to check out Nathan down below in the description. Until Nathan, that's Highland Semi. But anyways, that's about it for that, and let's get right into the next trick question. So the next trick question is going to be, I have an I, but am blind, a C, but no water, a B, but no honey, a T, but no coffee, and a Y, but no answer. What am I? Answer down below, and if the first person to write, then comment pen and we'll get our next video. And we get one shot up hurry, that's what it. Hopefully you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe to why the ninja today, because we ninja, you be silent, and I'm called Silent Night. But that's what it, peace out, see you in this video, have a great day. Reminisce back when I was flipping burgers, tearing tickets, man at work, chasing checks. That's a humble shit that take you down to earth. I remember getting friends on. Now girls treat me like the carpet at your friends home. Bitch, get the memo. Ride around the city with my friends like every day. Then get home and work on music like the lines of Chick Fil A. That's a long time. Swear my fears have all gone in my A. Now my motive is to overcome everything in my way. Uh, in my mind.